What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all have an awesome day. You can see Lily and Gabby back there running around like crazy, chasing each other. They do that all day. It's nuts. Look at them. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, today I just want to show you, I got a mystery package in the mail. Um, I kind of know where what it's from, but I have no idea why they sent it to me. I, mean, I do know where it's from because it says on the package, but I have no idea why they sent it to me. Um, We'll go in here, we'll open it up and take a look at it, and I'm also going to do a quail update for you all, so stay tuned. Yeah. Lily. Well, here's the box. So I got the mysterious box. I think there's more quail eggs in here, but I, there's got to be. Um, I did not order these, so I went back and looked at my account to see did they charge did i order twice did they they double charge me what's going on here and i can't find any double charges or anything so let's open up this box and let's see exactly what's in there because i have really don't know i mean i'm guessing it's quail a because it's from the same company but we'll see let's open it up and take a look Yeah, it's the same way they ship the other eggs. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, more quail eggs. They know how to ship them, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's more quail eggs, like you can see. Um, I'll show them to you a little bit more here in a minute, but I didn't order two things of quail eggs. Um, they messed up somehow, so I'll have to call this company and see what's going on. But I have a problem now because I only have one incubator, and they're full of quail eggs already. Uh, so let me go, let's walk in there, and I'll show you the quail eggs we got going on um, in the incubator now. So here's my incubator, um, you can see here. 65% humidity, temperature 700 is 99.8. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I got them on an automatic egg turner and it's, it's working just like it should. I think we're on day like six or seven, but you know, that's, that's the update for you right there. It's, they're just sitting there incubating. So I called my buddy uh, from Hidden Heights Farm, um, a longtime friend of mine. He actually has an incubator he's not using, so he said I could use it. So tomorrow I'm probably going to go up to his house, get the incubator, and uh, try to incubate these other quail eggs. So now I have, I'm, gonna, I'm potentially going to have a lot of quail on hand um, that I was not expecting this quick. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I do got another package. Let me show you this. So I got another package it's actually for my um, automatic egg turner in there and let's open it up and look at it. It's actually for quail. Um, those ones, that one's in there. It's universal. You can use quail, duck eggs, chicken eggs, but this one's just for quail and it's supposed to hold a lot more. So let's open it up and take a look at it. You can see it holds one, two, three, four, five, six. This one right here holds 20 by itself. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one right here by itself holds 20, and I got six of them. So that 120 eggs. If I would have had this now, or if I would have had this. If I would have had this and those all the eggs at once, I could have incubated all of them at one time. Um, but I got this set up because at, at the time I didn't realize I could do quail eggs in that one. So I was like, well, I'll get some of these and have them on hand. Well, now I could incubate 120 of them at one time in that little incubator. So I'll have to figure out uh, whenever those hatch, um, we'll get this figured out and we'll, have, we'll be able to hatch a bunch of them. Um, so other than that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'll get my buddy's incubator and hash these out. And let me, let me go outside. Let me show you all um, my, one of my old, um, it's, a, it's a brooder that I had. I used to um, hatch out little baby chicks. And um, let me show it to you all. Let me, let me know what you guys think about this brooder I got, if I could use it for my quail too. Because the two cages I got, um, let's walk outside. The, the double cages I bought that I still have to put together, um, it'll hold 
quite a bit of quail. Like I said before, it's really for, um, I think, birds, but it's, I think it'll work just fine. Um, I'm going to walk over here, and I didn't throw this away. I've had this probably about two or three years. Kind of just kept it outside, kept it on hand because it's kind of handy to have um, if you're hatching out chickens and quail. It is a muddy mess out here. Let's, take, let's go over here and look, take a look at it. It's just muddy. Muddy, muddy. All this snow and ice and rain starting to take a number on the yard. My raised beds. Oh, yeah. I haven't done an update for y'all in a while on my garlic. Let's check this out. I planted some of Bumblebee Junction's garlic. If you can see that. And it has came up really good. I planted some last year, too, and it did really well. Um, this year, I put it in the raised beds. I was supposed to put some straw over this, but I, never, I forgot to do it, and it all came up. I had my, I had my uh, garlic over here last year, and I don't know. That might be some, that might be some garlic from last year. That's pretty cool. Kind of just growing. I think that's what that is. Looks just like the other stuff. This is where my garlic bed was last year. You guys think that's just some, some. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, just some random garlic popping up from, from last year that maybe I didn't pick. I don't know. But it's down there. It looks just like the stuff I got in the raised bed. <laughs> Heck yeah. We'll have to keep eye on that. I'll try not to mow that over. Man, you can see my ditch. It, this ditch is just it's starting to fill in. Uh, cave in, actually. That's the electric line. I can't, I can't wait for all this to clear up. I can't wait for this all to clear, all the, the weather to get better so I can get a little excavator over here or a tractor and I can do a bunch of dirt work. I got a lot of dirt work I need to do. But yeah, let's take, take a look at this, uh, this little brooder I made. So I got this little brooder I made several years ago. Let's see in here. I might have to do a little bit of work to it. It's frozen. There we go. I had that styrofoam insulation in there. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put some wood all around that. And uh, let's see here. I'm not just going to fall. And do you guys think this will work for a quail? Once I get these sides uh, cleaned up, that way they can't peck at See, that's what the, the chickens did. The little chicks, they pecked at the styrofoam. I didn't realize they'd do that until it was too late. But you all think this will work for quail too? If I want to put some quail in here. It's, it's got that um, wire down there. And I could put a, had a heat lamp up here whenever I was doing chickens. I did have a tray that I could pull out because I had this on my porch. I had a tray I could pull out, but I kind of got rid of that. You think that you guys think that'll work for a little baby quail? I think it will. Well, Y'all, let me know down in the comment section below if you think that's gonna work. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Them garlic just popping up like that. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It's a mess out here. Oh man. Well, that's what the dilemma I got now. I'm gonna have too many quail. <laughs> oh. So yeah, tomorrow I'll try to get a video out for you. I'm um, going to my buddy's place. He's got all kinds of animals. He's got like Spanish meat goats. Um, he's got turkey, chickens. Um, he used to have sheep, but he went to the, the meat goats. Um, let's see what else he's got. He got peacocks. He got all kinds of stuff. And uh, tomorrow, if I get a chance to go up there, I got to get them eggs in the incubator because I think they're only good for like two weeks. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so we got to get them in because I think it says a hatch date on there like maybe like a week ago. So we'll see, see if we can get any of them to hatch out too, I guess. Um, I actually hit Daniel up. I said, hey, Daniel, you got an incubator? He said, no. I was like, well, well all right. Because I was just going to send that box to him, let him hatch them out. But uh, he don't have the setup. He's not ready for quail yet either. So let's go over here and check on little Rambo. Um, I let Rambo out, just kind of run around, do his thing. Um, he's really just kind of basically just hanging out um, over here in his little, little house. But the other sheep are going in there. I kind of just want him to socialize. I know what he could be around the other sheep. Let's go take a look, see what he's doing. There he is, Rambo. What's up, Rambo? What's up, Rambo? I know you're not hungry. Hadley will feed you. Hadley, Hadley will feed you. You just see me and you just see food, don't you? <laughs> Gabby, leave Rambo alone. Lily. Go play, Rambo. You're free. Rambo, you're free, go play. Rambo will feed you here in a little bit again. I just fed him. You guys see me in the video. I just got through feeding him about whenever, how long ago. I'm probably going to let him run around for another hour or two. And I've been coming out here and kind of just checking on him as I let him out. And they're not messing with him. I mean, he's, he's hanging out. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, that's all I got for you all today. 
Um, I'll give you. I'll try to get. I'll try to get you a video out tomorrow. Uh, getting that uh, other incubator. I think he's got a pretty good size incubator, if I remember correctly. Um, but I'll, when I go up there, I'll try to film a little bit. Phil, if you don't care, and if you get a chance, you can go check him out too. Is a Hidden Heights uh, Farm on YouTube, and I'll put a little link up there. You guys go check him out and tell him Dutch sent you. And uh, we'll do a video together tomorrow too, so you get to really see what's going on over there. All right, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button like always. And if you're not subscribed. Like I keep saying, I don't know why you're not subscribed. <laughs> you can click the little subscribe button right there and uh, click that little bell to get notifications every time I post new content. YouTube sometimes likes to send it out and you guys get it and watch it. We greatly appreciate all the thumbs up and all the nice comments you guys give us. Thank you so much and I'll uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.